Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. 1 kilogram and 4 kilogram blocks lie on a rough horizontal surface. The coefficient of friction between 4 kilogram block and surface is 0 0.2 while the coefficient of friction between 1 kilogram block and the surface is 0 0.6. The pulleys and the strings shown in the figure are massless and frictionless. Here multiple choice question. So please listen carefully. Option first A. The frictional force acting on 1 kilogram block is 2 newton. Option B. The frictional force acting on 1 kilogram block is 6 newton. Option C. The tension in the string connecting 4 block and 1 block is 2 newton. Option D. The tension in the string connecting 1 kilogram block and 4 kilogram block is 0. Clearly, we can see that this diagram two blocks that is 1 kilogram and 4 kilogram put on the this table and 2 kilogram block which is hanging. So therefore clearly that is an equilibrium position that is in static condition. So let us first we have to find out one by one t, one t and this is uh, here the values for the first block that is uh, for 1 kilogram. We can see that normal force acting upper side here mg here 1 kilogram that is the weight and g is acting downward direction here the t1 acting to the right side and here the friction acting also against this uh, first block to the left side that is fs is it clear now t1 equal to m1 a and minus here the friction working against the opposite direction is left side that is fs so here t1 equal to what is the weight that is 1 kilogram a minus here fs can be written as mu mg so here t1 equal to 1 a mu that is given 0 0.6 m that is 1 kilogram and g. So here the first equation 1a minus 0.6g which is the first equation. Okay. Now for the second block its weight is a 4 kilogram. We have again formed free body diagram for the 4 kg. Here the t1 it is considered t 4 mg so therefore 4 g acting downward direction so t equal to accelerate towards to the right side so therefore 4 a and here the t1 opposite to the motion so therefore minus t1 and friction also acting towards to the left side so therefore again we have using fs so t equal to 4a here from the first equation we have substitute the value of t1 that is a minus 0 0.6 g that is the t1 and uh, fs friction force here the mu is 0 0.2 and uh, m that is 4 and g so t equal to 4a minus a minus minus plus 0.6g minus 0.8g. So here t equal to 3a and uh, minus 0.2g. That is the second equation. So here we have written t equal to 3a minus 0.2g. It is the second equation. Okay. Now here we can see that here the tension applied, here the tension applied, so here 2t and now acceleration become half. 
ओके वेन टेंशन बिकम डबल देन एक्सलेशन बिकम हाउ बिकॉज Here displacement is directly proportional to the x, so therefore a x is divided into two parts, so therefore acceleration becomes half. So in this case, m g acting downward direction, two t is acting upward direction, so two g minus two t equal to here the mass is two kilogram and acceleration a by two. Is it clear? So now two two cancel out two g minus two. Now substitute this value of t in equation number third. So three a minus zero point two g equal to a. Then two g two three is a six a minus minus plus. Two to the four means zero point four g equal to a. Then this uh, values become two g and zero point four g. Then two point four g and uh, minus six a transposing to the right side six a plus a become seven a. Okay. So here a is two point four by seven g. It is fourth condition, right? Now substituting the value of a in first equation, t one equal to what is the value of a? Two point four g upon seven minus zero point six g. Taking LCM seven two point four g seven six a forty two means four point two g. Okay, here minus. What is the value of four point two minus two point four? That is eight one point eight g upon seven. So here we can see that what is the value of g? Consider ten. So now eighteen by seven. Negative sign shows. That is uh, working against this value of this block, and uh, it shows the static condition. Okay, so here we have neglected this negative sign. So approximately seven to the fourteen. So approximately two newton. Okay, so here t one is acting two newton in between that first block and second block. So here a and c options. are correct i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely for your success all the credit goes to your hard work but if my video will help for your success then i will consider myself lucky thank you once again take care bye bye